What's up, pedal fans? Watch your step. Besides overdrives, distortions, tuners, there's one effect that everybody should have on their pedal board. It's a delay. Delays can give you a little bit of embellishment to your solos if you put in a tiny amount, very subtle, you know, but also can make that out of this world sound mixed with other effects. And today I'm bringing to you a digital slash analog delay. It's the JHS 3 series delay. Yeah. The 3 series from JHS try to be a good pedal and affordable. I mean, affordable. I will explain why. Um, all the pedals from this series has the same enclosure, has the same number of knobs, like three knobs, and also has the same two-way switch. Depending on the effect, this two-way switch has a different feature, okay? In the case of the delay, the switch changes from analog, when it's down, like this, to digital, when it's... Uh, let me try, yeah, up, like this. Sorry, the camera just couldn't focus because of the effect. Well, the first knob is the mix, and it controls the, the volume of the repeats, you know? The second knob is the time, and it controls the, the delay in time range. It can go from um, 80 milliseconds to 800 milliseconds. It, it's a really good range. And the repeats is the last knob. It controls the amount of feedback or the amount of repeats of the delay signal. In the end, you have the two-way switch that, like I explained, you can change from analog to digital. To demo this pedal, I'm going for a single coil, so I'm going to use a Fender Player Plus Stratocaster.
the JHS 3 series is to bring simple and affordable pedals. And they are really simple, it's just three knobs, a two-way switch, that's it, really nice. The affordable part, I, I kind of disagree a little bit, at least here in Europe. Uh, in the US I think you can buy a new one for $99, I think that's the, the whole line, all the pedals is just $99, but here in Europe Depending on the effect that you're looking for, you will walk around 130, 146 euros. As I checked in some websites, I'm talking about today's price. I don't know about the future. The simplicity of three knobs is something that I really appreciate. I love simple pedals. And the two-way switch just gives you the option of have two pedals in just one enclosure. That's really good. The delay range is not bad, from 80 milliseconds to 800 milliseconds. It's kind of good. And the only thing that I miss in this pedal, it's uh, a tap tempo switch. It, it doesn't have. Um, probably, I don't know, maybe, maybe they're, they're trying to make it affordable, so it will be, I don't know, costly to put a tap tempo. I, I'm not sure. Either. That's what I think. For me, this is a good pedal, it's the delay that I use on my pedal board, but since it reads a, a price range that's that it's in the same house of other competitors, I don't know, it's kind of difficult to defend the, that point, because let's take for example the, the Walrus Audio uh, delay from their fundamental line, it, it I think it's 3 euros more expensive than this one and it brings also the option for digital and analog delay but also bring a reverse option you know or you can spend i don't know a little bit of money and you can get an electro harmonics canyon that has a lot of options of delay and can be a looper too so i don't know it from the price range that this reach in europe it doesn't have enough features to compete with the options that are in the market. Anyway, if it stays on the 99 euros price, I would say it's a good option. But since it, the price now reaches a level that other comp competitors are, I would say go check all the options that you have and then decide if you really want to stick with this one. Or if you want to go with one of the competitors. And that was the JHS 3 Series Delay. If you liked the video, please give a thumbs up and share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.